This week's adventure, it's all about tradition. It's what happens when one little outing amongst musky anglers turns into something more. For the past 11 years, Ed Tusk and legendary musky angler Larry Ramsell have hosted the Larry Ramsell Outing. This outing is all about a group of musky anglers, both beginners and seasoned pros, getting together for two and a half days of hunting muskies. And I might add, a group of die-hard anglers, all the way from Sweden. Now that is hardcore. I must have chased over a million miles. This is more than just, well, a passion. It's our addiction. It defines who we are and what we are all about. It consumes us. If this sport doesn't humble you, well, then nothing will. For us, it's all about the muskie. Hey everybody, welcome to Keys Outdoors. Another exciting adventure is about to take place. You know, last year we were up here for the 10th annual Larry Ramsell outing. This year, the 11th, we got a lot of people. I'll tell you what, Ed, what you guys are doing is really unique. Explain to the people out there what makes us so unique. Oh, sure. It's Well, what we're doing is we're getting guys together to fish. You know, and it's, it's all about sharing information. It's, it's a non-competitive type of event where guys could be you know new to musky fishing and they come out and they're going to get a chance to mix it up with some pros and we, we bring in some top fishermen and uh, we really encourage sharing information sharing spots and it's, it's a great time we share meals we have some uh, some great speakers larry does a phenomenal job every year of, of putting a presentation on that's always interesting you know about the history of musky fishing he's got so many years behind him and so much time invested in this sport and it's, it's just a, it's a great time to share all that with everybody that that participates and larry you've written books you've studied muskies uh you know you've hunted them all your life i'll tell you what what draws you to this sport I don't know, it's some kind of mystique that once it gets you hooked, you just can't get away from it. It's, uh, I guess it's the eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. There is see no them, cure. See, see them eyeballs <laughs> coming, that's, that's what mm. does it. Right. I mean, you know, I, I love letting them go. Used to, we, when I was first started, we killed everything we caught, but we learned that wasn't the right thing to do. And now I love letting them go, but I hate losing them before I get to touch them. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. And I'll tell you what, folks, that's, again, you know, if you're thinking about coming up here and you're new to the sport, like Ed said, this is an awesome opportunity for you to get involved because you get to mingle, talk, and go out with some of the top names in the industry, guys that live, eat, and drink this sport every day. Ed, if people would like to participate in next year's event, sure. what is the best way for them to get a hold of you? Well, probably the easiest would be to have them go on our website, and that's vdl.com, vermilliondamlodge.com. If they go on our website, we've got all the information on it. They can click on there, send me an email, say they're interested in signing up, and we'll take it from there. We're up here on Lake Vermilion, and I'll tell you what, there are some monster muskies that swim in these waters up here, and that's why we come up here as well, because on any given cast, man, oh man, you could catch the fish of your dreams. It's Absolutely. a world-class fishery, no doubt about it. Thirteen. 
14? Yeah. First time up here? Yeah, first time in Minnesota. Are you a musky fisherman? Yes, I am a big musky fisherman. All right. Who are you going out with? Um, I'm going with my uh, Papa Jerry. doing is we've been cruising a lot of different spots. Uh, Lake Vermilion at this time of year, baits start staging for the spawn. And what you see here, we got some bait on the screen. Hanging around these areas, this could be bait in here. We got bait here, good bait. And that's what we're doing. We're just going to these locations, finding the bait, and then fishing the bait. One thing that we constantly tell you guys on Keys Outdoors is find the bait, you're gonna find the fish. And they just follow these big pods in here. You got big pods of uh, Cisco's and whitefish and they, they uh, love that stuff. Oily, greasy fish gets them ready for the winter. So we're gonna fish this little spot out. It's got some good bait along here. And what to look for when you're fishing these spots is a hard bottom, gravelly sand, um, some rocky texture if that's all they have but they'll use rock and uh, real hard bottom stuff is what these whitefish and Cisco's um, you know tulabies and certain lakes they call them but um, that's what that's what these fish use is the hard bottom surfaces in order to do their spawn and that comes up in the uh, October full moon is the time that they lay, lay their eggs. I am Muskie's Inc. and my membership does a lot for muskie fishing. My membership helps to stock lakes with muskies for the future of our sport. My membership helps in cleaning up lakes and providing habitat that makes our fisheries healthier and stronger. My membership helps by getting our youth involved in the outdoors. Like I said, my $35 membership does a lot for the sport of muskie fishing. I am Muskie's Inc. Are you? Americans, we're the creators of things born of an independent spirit, designers of the great, architects of the useful, composers of the loud, builders of the beautiful. We live in a country that lets people make things they believe in, and that's as American as, well... Dave and I, our plan was to head west. The water was clearer there with some awesome late season structure. Perfect for muskies. We have some really rare footage taken by Justin Kazlovka of Cedar Rapids, Iowa, who was flying solo wearing a GoPro head cam. He was hunting a huge rock reef by himself when, well, watch this footage. God. Please stay on. Please stay. Please stay.
Yes. 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 Oh my god. Start taking some pictures, I'll, I'll grab her. She's big. Yeah, look through the, yep, yeah, it starts snapping, yep. Seven, dude. Fifty-seven. Yeah. Fifty-seven. Get a Fifty-seven. Oh, oh man. Holy sh thanks, baby. Holy sh fucking super tanker. Look at that bitch. Oh my god. Fifty. Have you seen it? After fishing all morning and only raising one muskie, we decided to make a move. We just happened to roll up on Lake Pro Bob Benson and two anglers from Sweden. It's like a nice one, maybe a four footer. Really? Nice. Very nice. Just brushed a dog. Is that what you got it on? Yeah. Nice awesome. fish, nice <laughs> fish. Way awesome. Ah, come on. All the way from Sweden for this one. There yeah. you go. For the Larry Ramsell outing. Nice fish. Nice fish, really nice. Woohoo! <laughs> Dandy. Beautiful. Nice one. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> No, no, no. Forty-six inches. Forty-six. Wow. <laughs> Hold her up right here for me too, bud. Burn for the camera too. <laughs> Team Sweden. Nice. Team Sweden. Let's get her back. Yep. Let's get her back. Hang right on, on guys. Table. Good job. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Fish. Was it a good fight? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. fantastic. That's really? Awesome. Head shaking all the way to the boat. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. oh, my. Congrats, man. That's awesome. Nice. <laughs> That's an awesome shot right there. Yeah, yes. Okay, let's let her go. There she goes. Bye bye. Boy, in this cold water, they just go. It's yeah, such a exactly. Cool, such a cool fantastic. Thing. How, how many fantastic. fish today, right Bob? By here, right by you here, guys. Oh. Uh, you know, we lost one early. I came had, up, and then it was a, yeah. He had one and grab, and then it was a tough day. He had one on a figure eight, yeah. going seven or eight times. And boy, these guys worked hard, throwing baits all day, and uh, you know, paid off. You just got to right got to stick with it. So. Yeah. dog next to the boat. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, figure eight. No, just, just eight right at the boat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why do I shop at Joe's Sporting Goods? Because they built one of the best musky stores in the country. Rods, reels, nets, terminal tackle, all the top name musky lures that have proven track records for catching monster muskies. Plus, I want somebody that shares my passion. Somebody that understands exactly what I need. Outdoor experts. You can visit the store or you can check them out online. Joe's Sporting Goods. What are you doing? I thought you were getting your hair cut at Great Clips. I am. Already checked in. How? Their sweet online check-in app. Why wait around there for a haircut 
when I can work on my bod here. Ooh, I got a few more minutes. And pump it and squeeze it. Ooh, smile at me. Introducing the online check-in app from Great Clips. No more waiting around because now we'll be waiting for you. Great Clips, it's going to be great. We need all day power and we get it. Angry seas and heavy winds, it don't matter. Why? Because we use Odyssey, the extreme batteries. Phenomenal starting power and massive deep cycle reserve power in one battery. Designed and built to last up to three times as long as other marine batteries. We finally found a battery that can outfish us. Yeah! New for 2013, Skeeter's MX-2025. Big brother of the MX-1825. It's bigger, and bigger is better. Bigger front and back deck. More features that musky anglers want and demand. Yes, it's bigger, and bigger means more horsepower. Contact the Skeeter Boat Center in Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, and see why bigger is better. Tonight, we didn't see anything. We're gonna go in and get a report. That's what this whole event is all about. We're, uh, everyone's collecting information. It's uh, it's really kind of a neat little, uh, it's kind of a school in a way. But, uh, we heard there's some fish being caught, so that's the neat thing about Vermilion Dam Lodge is uh, Larry Ramsell outing. We're gonna go in and see if the, if the fish are on the rocks, if they're on the weeds, what they're doing. Good. Evenings get underway with an awesome hot meal, followed up by musky seminars from lake pros like Ben Olson, Luke Ronestran, Matt Seaford, and Bob Benson. They go over what they had going on that day on the water and share it with the group. Um, yeah, bait was key. There was no bait, there was no fish for me. Um, Twice today I said, guys, there's a lot of bait here. Good bait here, guys. Good bait. And good fish. Twice that happened. Every morning starts out with a wholesome hearty breakfast and then an on-the-water gear clinic, giving the anglers a chance to try out new rods, reels, and lures. And then we're off for the final day of hunting muskies on Lake Vermilion. Outdoors only uses the best rods. And now the Bulldog rods come in three price ranges to best suit your needs. The Evolution Series and Select Series all use the same T Tech Series blanks as the Pro Series. The only difference is that the Evolution and Select Series comes with T Tech guides, and that's how we save you some serious money. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just getting started in the sport, Bulldog rods have the right rods at the right price to get the job done. This is my new secret weapon. It's by Musky Mayhem. It's called the Trolling Girl. Heavier blades, heavier wire, heavier clevises designed for one thing and one thing only, trolling. You know, all blades aren't created equal, and now one company stands above. 
and that is Musky Mayhem with their new 2013 Trolling Girls. Check them out at www.muskymayhemtackle.com. MTL Custom Colors. Keys Outdoors, Musky Mayhem, and Musky Innovations all teamed up this year to bring you the Baitfish Series. Four Cisco patterns from Musky Mayhem. Four Baitfish patterns from Musky Innovation. And there's only one place you can get these cool custom colors, and that's from Musky Tackle Online. Welcome to the Minnesota Muskie Expo. Welcome to the Minnesota Muskie Expo. Welcome to the Minnesota Muskie Expo. One. Gonna have now, a finished lure coming up there. Here's the important thing. As the last day was upon us, Dave and I, we were still going to stay true to our plan of staying on the west side of the lake. Like I said, in pre-fishing, we had just no. an absolute monster up. We come to Lake Vermilion this time of the year for one thing, a shot at a monster. What do you got, man? Look at that hawk, dude. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Benny. I can't Stop. turn. I can't turn her. All right, I'm, I'm going to do it. Okay. One turn's all I get, buddy. Not that walk, boy. Got, got it. it. Yeah! Oh. Got it. It wow, guys. It's a giant. It's a giant fish. Unbelievable. Oh, that's relief. 50 pounds. Dude. Sure. Wow. We have Mine. had. Mike just lost one 10 we minutes had ago. Unbelievably. Just tough to the day. other side. We just came around the tip of this awesome point. And Benny's like, we're right on the tip. We're getting smoked again. This is the fourth bite we've had today, Ben. First one we've capitalized on. We've been really frustrated. Had just all kinds of stuff go wrong. We got a monster in the net right now. We're going to pull her out and show you what we got. Vermilion Ooh. monster. Let's take her up Dude. front. Oh, is that a pig? Did you guys see that hook set? That was like a soccer rig hook set. Underneath, you got a hook on both sides. Oh, here we go. You got one in her cheek and the other side too. Oh, she it. was actually stuck real well. <clears throat> Look at that thing. <laughs> Is that thing a beast? Can you see that? That's how you come up here in November, man. Nice fish. <clears throat> but what you'd the expect. Lure. The pounder, we've actually had bites on. Uh, we're using all three pounders, single tail, double tail, and triple tail. We made a bunch of custom stuff because the fish love this huge profile up here, especially in the fall. We showed you the size of the ciscos that these fish are feeding on. We just saw a cisco spawning right there on the tip of this point. We said, man, we found where we're going to fish the next two days. All the action we've had has been within eyesight of where we are right now. So there's a pack of them in here. These Minnesota muskies, when they're in a pack, you better believe there's more than one on a spot. That's for sure. Very healthy, beautiful fish. No marks on her. She's not been touched. This is a fish that comes in with these Cisco's, and they're just blonde, beautiful, <laughs> giant fish. I'll tell you what, 54 this week. Benny had a 57 plus last week. This lake is just unbelievable, and, and really this time period, you know, that late November when these white fish and Cisco spawn, hardly anybody up here fishing for one. 
but like you say, these fish that ain't, have, haven't even been on this structure all season probably have never seen a bait. They're showing up now, and I'll tell you what, they're eating. They're eating today, big they're time. They're eating today. This Let's is our fourth bite of the day. Everybody. We'll get her out of the net here and get her back quick. We want to get right back on them. I got a hold of the net. You can just grab her. That's a beast, and you always want to support the net when you're handling a big fish like that. We've seen a few go over the rim and in the past. Oh my God, Benny! <laughs> Let me help you. What a beast! I got the back there. Look at that, you guys! Big beautiful musky. Monster. Our mark on her. Later on the board, very quick, heavy, we'll see heavy fish. What we got. Holding her. I got her. Oh, she's pooping. 54 and a half. 54, almost 55, you guys, right there, man. Beautiful fish, Benny. All right. 40 pound giant. And that's what you can expect when you're fishing up here in Minnesota in the late November period. Here, Ben. Here, Ben. She goes, she goes. It's no big deal. Look at her go. Cruise. Unbelievable. That's what happens in the fall. These giant fish that never see lures and, and really put on this fall weight. That's my personal best muskie right there. And I, they've personal best have been going down all over the state of Minnesota this year. It's been one of the most epic falls in history. These, these giant fish are reaching their stocking potential and it has been phenomenal. Yeah, well actually John and Fritz, you guys, you came up the, the first year we had it, and we were just talking about this last night. I think the first year, what do we have guys, 15 people involved in it? At the most, yeah. Yeah, and this year we were pushing close to 50. So, yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. It's all about sharing information, learning new tactics, new techniques, and ways of catching muskies, and for that alone, it's well worth it. Yeah, definitely, I've never tried doing what I did yesterday but yeah, and it doing, paid off yeah, it, it, did. Sure. it was it kind of home. funny because Benny you, you it was Ben Olson that yeah, you were you guys right. were kind of mocking yeah, out there because yeah, Benny's always got the saying you got to make it look sexy you got to yep. make it look sexy yep. Yep. and yeah, boy sexy it dance. turned out it evidently did. that fish thought it was real sexy yeah, he did. <laughs> he did. that was nice <laughs> if you're thinking that the Larry Ramsell outing is something you want to experience for yourself give Ed a call he'll take care of you trust me it's well worth it. Truly a great time and experience. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you would like to learn more about the product seen on this week's show, go to our website. I don't know where we're going to be, but I do guarantee you this. It will be an adventure.